Mosquito engines have repeatedly undergone modernization. The original 3.6 V-shaped 6 developed a power of 304 horsepower, in 2011 it was increased to 312 horsepower, and in 2012 to 323. V-shaped 8s were produced in three types with a power of 432 horsepower and were intended to work with a manual transmission, delivering just under 400 horsepower came with an automatic transmission. The design difference between these motors is small. The first engine was equipped with an algorithm for shutting off some of the cylinders, as well as a system for changing valve timing. The most powerful compressor modification developed 550 horsepower. Gearboxes for eight-cylinder engines were represented by manual and automatic transmissions. But with V6 engines, which relied on completely different gearboxes, a six-speed manual gearbox was also standard, and an automatic transmission was ordered as an option. Russian official dealers of Chevrolet Camaro appeared in a coupe body in 2012, and a convertible a year later. Here, by the way, you need to take into account that the European modification differed from the American one not only in lighting technology, but also in external mirrors and audio system settings. But Europe was denied relatively economical and less expensive models with an advanced V6 engine, but for Russia they made an exception by rolling out a version with an automatic transmission to the market. The most surprising thing is that mosquitoes don't have any chronic diseases, especially those with a V6 engine. Changing the oil according to the regulations and refueling with 95-grade gasoline will save the owner from problems for a hundred or more thousand kilometers. In fact, the car is brought to service only by merciless operation, for example, constant starts in the sneaker mode lead to the untimely and rapid death of the main pair and rear axle differential bearings. Moreover, this ailment is inherent in both modifications with a V6 and V8 engine. You most likely will not be able to solve the problem on your own, however, repairs are not prohibitively expensive, which cannot be said about a new unit. In general, the manufacturer fills the differential with oils designed for 150,000 km, however, service specialists recommend changing it after 80,000. Another nuance concerns the brake fluid. Its service life is no more than 40,000 kilometers, but the spark plugs are promised a fantastic survivability of 150,000 kilometers, but in difficult operating conditions it is halved. Those who like to anneal to the fullest will most likely end up replacing the timing chain in the engine. In V6 they will stretch out ahead of time, again the owner will have to pay for momentary pleasure. True, accelerated chain wear is more common in motors of earlier modifications. In passing, we note that on engines with a 6.2 V-shaped 8, there have never been any questions about the chain drive. For the most powerful 550 horsepower compressor version, breakdowns can only occur when trying to break the sound barrier. In other words, when the engine is monstrously overloaded, the nature of the problems that arise can be very different. The main one is a whistling sound at idle in the supercharger compressor. Other problems are already a consequence. This can happen due to contamination of the lubricant of the internal bearing shaft, if the symptoms are not eliminated in time, the consequences of the whistle will turn into a rumble, and this is fraught with destruction of the bearing and complete engine failure. By the way, General Motors carried out a recall campaign to replace the drive supercharger, the 2012-2013 Camaros were affected by it, however, if you have a car with such an engine, you should be careful in any case. Now let's move on to gearboxes. The machine is simple, reliable, and extremely popular. They even decided to install the brother of this transmission on the New Year's Patriot far beyond 200,000 km. However, this box does not like long and high engine speeds, and the oil pump can jam. In addition, after 150,000 km, the torque converter oil seal may leak. As a matter of fact, the engines and gearboxes of the fifth-generation Chevrolet Camaro won't upset you with anything more, unless you run into a completely dead copy, but the stock brakes on almost all versions of the Mosquito are rather weak or, as they say, wobbly. There are many options to eliminate this drawback, for example, upgrade using original spare parts. The 17-inch rear brake discs will fit from the Opel Insignia, but the stock rear ones, as well as the brake pads, will of course be better. Although it may not seem ideal to some. Another option is to install expensive sports brake systems. But what may disappoint is the front panel. Only Americans could make it from gray oak plastic, and the design of the instrument panel along with the steering wheel, reminiscent of a budget Chevrolet Orlando or Cruze, is also not cool. 
The main pitfall that awaits the new owner is that the transport tax in Moscow for a car with a V6 engine will be almost 50,000 rubles, and with a V8 engine about 60,000. Another important expense item is tires, as a rule, for active owners they last no more than 30,000 kilometers and here size matters a lot. Because 18-inch tires will be much cheaper than our 20-inch ones. True, there is one joy, you can save on winter tires, why yes, because exploiting a mosquito even in the slightest snow and ice is almost always fraught with danger. You don't have to worry about corrosion, unless the car was in an accident and was restored with the help of crooked hands, but the latter can be easily determined in any decent car service station, so when looking closely at the Camaro versions as a car for every day, we would recommend taking the one with the engine V6 and automatic transmission.